In this part, we want to find out what is TAT steering. So what is the great property of these TAT drawings that TAT managed to prove? For that, we need a few more definitions. You remember, we defined a planar graph to be a graph that can be drawn in the plane such that no edges cross each other. And we said a graph is connected if there is a UV path for every pair of vertices. This connectivity we can extend to K connectivity. A graph is K connected if the graph remains connected after I remove any K minus one vertices. So for every choice of K minus one vertices, no matter what it is, if I remove them, the graph stays connected. So this graph here, is this a three connected graph? No, it is not. If I choose number one and four and I remove them, then I get two connected components, one that consists of two, three, and one that consists of five. However, if I add this additional edge here, then it's one component again, and then, in fact, we have a three connected graph. There's an alternative definition for this, and that says there are at least k vertex disjoint UV paths for every pair. So here we said in connected, which is one connected, there is at least one UV path for every pair. Here we must have at least k, and they must be vertex disjoint. So let's have a look at one and four again. Can you find three vertex disjoint paths between them? Well, we can take the path by a five, we can take the path by a three, and then there's only one edge left here, so we have to go to the two, and then we have to go via this edge to the four. So we have three vertex disjoint paths. There's no vertex except one and four that lies on two of them. What about these two here, five and three? And again, we take this edge here, we take that path, we take that path, and now we see why this graph before was not three connected. Now there's only this edge left. So to take another path from five to three, we have to pick this edge. So without this edge, the graph cannot be three connected. In fact, if you have a degree two vertex, then the graph can never be three connected. If you have a degree k minus one vertex, it can never be k connected because there's no way to find k vertex disjoint paths from it. These three connected planar graphs are quite special. And in fact, in 1933, Whitney proved that for every three connected planar graph, we have a unique planar embedding. And this is a really strong property. If we have biconnected graphs, then we can have an exponential number of planar embeddings. But if we are three connected, then there's only a single one, up to the choice of the outer face, depending on if you count that to be part of the embedding or not. I will give you a short proof sketch for this very basic theorem. So let's say we have two different embeddings of our graph G. They are different, that means that we must have some face in the second embedding that's not a face in the first embedding. And a face must always be a simple cycle, otherwise we have some cut vertex and the graph is only simply connected. So let's have a look at this cycle in embedding one. It is not a face, so that means that we must have some stuff inside and we must have some stuff outside. Since vertex u is inside and v is outside, any path that we find between these two vertices has to go through c. The graph is reconnected. By definition, there are at least three vertex disjoint uv paths. So we can find three paths here that go through the cycle c. Okay, now let's try to draw these three graphs in embedding two. These three vertices here still lie on the cycle. It has to be in the same order because this is still a simple cycle. Now, here this is a face. That means either the interior or the outside are completely empty. So both u and v must lie on the same side. Let's say outside. We will first just draw v 
However, it is somewhere here. We have some path on the outside. We don't really care what it looks like. But where can we place you now? There are basically three possibilities, either here on the outer face or inside this part or inside this part. Let's put it on the outer face first. We still have to draw these paths to the three vertices. That's fine for the green and blue, but how do I connect it to the red vertex? There's no way. I either have to cross this green path here or this blue path here. There's no way we can draw this red path without a crossing. And the same happens if we put it inside here. Blue and red are fine, but the green one we cannot do without a crossing. And here, the blue we cannot do without a crossing. So there's no place where I can put the vertex U while still getting a planar embedding. And that means we have a contradiction. We cannot have two different embeddings. All embeddings are the same. So these three connected planar graphs are quite special. And they are also important for TUT. So if we have some three connected planar graph and we pick a face of its unique embedding and map it to a strictly convex polygon, then the unique touch drawing is planar and all the faces are strictly convex. And this is Tat's theorem. This is the amazing result that you get from these barycentric coordinates. You can just solve a simple system of linear equations. You only have to find this one face and then you get a drawing that's planar and with strictly convex faces, which looks much more pretty than if you have faces like this one here that is not convex. And in the next and final part, we want to prove this theorem.